One of the hardest roles of managers is to oversee and supervise the work of their hotel team. This task, which might look easy upon the surface, is essentially a combination of delegation, coaching, communication and juggling. It requires an understanding of your hotel team members, a knowledge of their strengths and weaknesses, an awareness of their working preferences and development needs, and an ability to calculate rapidly how long work will take depending on who is doing it. It also means being able to give good, confident and constructive feedback whenever necessary. It is perhaps not surprising that many new hoteliers find this task difficult. Just getting to know your hotel team can be the work of many months. Adding in the need to understand the work, the tasks required and the time they take makes this a real challenge for anyone. It is, however, a very useful skill. Fortunately, it is also one that can be developed over time with a bit of patience. The main skills needed to supervise in a hotel effectively. It is possible to argue that almost any skill is vital to help you oversee work effectively. Communication skills, for example, are important in any interpersonal interaction and hotel managers inevitably need to have good communication skills, both speaking and listening. However, there are some skills which are particularly helpful in this particular hotel management situation. These include delegation skills. Learning to delegate effectively is something of an art. It requires an understanding of yourself and the amount of control that you want over the task. It also requires you to be able to communicate this fully to the person to whom you are delegating. Managing work effectively across a whole hotel team that you are supervising means being able to develop and bring on team members. There are two essential areas of skills for this, feedback and coaching skills. Giving feedback is easy, shouting at the top of your voice that was absolutely rubbish, is giving feedback. Giving effective feedback, that is, feedback that is heard and acted upon, is much harder. There are some useful rules about good feedback, including that it should be about behaviour, as specific as possible, and about the effect of the behaviour on you. It should also be provided soon after the event and at a suitable moment. A good coach or a hotel manager using a coaching approach starts from the position that the person that they're coaching or their team member knows the answer to their problem and just needs a bit of support to them to learn. This is, oddly enough, easier as a new hotel owner because you may well not be an expert in the subject matter. You may, therefore, really not know the answers and be dependent on your team to work them out. Try it and see. An important part of a coaching approach, both with yourself and with your hotel team, is the idea of trying it to see. As a hotel supervisor, give yourself the opportunity to try new things and potentially fail without considering what happened was a disaster. Most importantly, as a hotel supervisor, learn to appreciate that work allocations are fluid and that working flexibly is important to manage peaks and troughs in any hotel demand. Good luck. Speak to you soon.